Well, speaking of the race this weekend, do you want to play Weatherman? How's the weather looking? I yeah, I will, hot, I, will right? play, I will play Weather Person. Um, so <laughs> there is an excessive heat warning issued for basically the entire country of Hungary, <laughs> um, including obviously where we're going to be racing. It's really, really hot. and It's like, like Qatar 2023 all over again. I mean, it, it, that that's the the first thing that I said to you was that it was you know when when we saw that the weather reports was that it you know it was going to probably be like then then Qatar if you don't remember was really punishing it was really hot and really humid um, even if it was a night race and this is not going to be a night race um, so it's going to be it's going to be a lot. So on Friday, the weather is um, supposed to be around like the low nineties, um, 91 degrees Fahrenheit, 33 Celsius. Um, Saturday, it's going to be a little cooler at 89 degrees um, or 32 Celsius. And then Sunday, it's going to be the hottest day of the weekend at 92 degrees, which is 33 degrees Celsius. Um, but there's also going to be between 35% and 45% humidity, which for somebody like me who lives in a desert, um, when I'm not running a summer camp, that's a lot of humidity my hair as you can see as I'm somewhere with high humidity is not handling it very well um and so you know we remember the number of drivers who you know Logan Sargent had to retire because he was sick Alex Alba needed help getting out of the car Lance Stroll passed out like in the medical building like it was a very punishing race on these drivers and I in in Pat's heart and I think that we're gonna see that again um this weekend in Hungary I mean Again, to put this into perspective, like that's how hot it is outside. But then you put your ass in a car with an engine right up against you. It gets really hot. Even when it's not this hot out and it's a cooler race, those drivers come out just sweating because the car is so hot and the track heats up and the track is really hot. So you can easily add 10, 15 degrees plus the humidity to these actual temperatures. And that's like a baseline. That's not even as hot as it actually gets. So if you're like, oh, it's only 91 degrees, like, meh. but no, it, it's so much hotter. That's It's almost like dangerous how hot it's going to be. Yeah, no, you, that just reminded me one of the other issues was Fernando Alonso was complaining about, you know, getting burns right, on his back, yeah. um, you know, because he was, like you said, sitting on that engine. It's like when you think about, um, you know, watching an American football game in August in some parts of the country, like, you know, I mean, I used to live in Alabama, so that's the one that comes off the top of my head, like the humidity in Alabama and like the temperatures, if you're just in the stands in Tuscaloosa versus when you're on the field, which is going to be between, you know, 20 and 30 degrees warmer, like that's, that's a lot. And that's, you know, the drivers already like lose enough weight as it is um, when they, you know, get out of the cars after these races, you know, they only have so much weight that they can allocate to their drinks um, bag, you know, drink system. There was, I think... Um, Cota last year, Leclerc was without his his drink system. Like sometimes the drink system fails, and you don't well, have and failed, anything I to drink. I want to say there was a race this year where someone's failed. I don't remember which one, but I think it was I, this I, year too. I think so too. And like there was there was one race either last season or two seasons ago where Checo was without his his drink system. Like it's like it's really hard. And like that's why the drivers, um, as soon as they get out of the car, they have to get weighed so that they can keep track of how much weight these guys are losing, you know, so mm-hmm. that they're not losing too much, like a dangerous amount of weight, you know, doing this very punishing task of driving a very expensive, very fast car, you know, three hundred something kilometers. Wild. I mean, yeah. I would love to jump in an F1 car and lose like five kilos in an hour and a half. But I mean, I'm sure there are other similarly less safe ways to lose <laughs> five kilos in an hour and a half. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 going to be really rough, and I think this it's could going be a to race be a of it. Scorcher. It's going to be a scorcher, and I think it could be a little bit of a race of attrition. I, I it would not surprise me if we have another like Logan Sargent situation of the driver getting you know so sick and dehydrated that they have to retire you know outside of whatever may or may not be wrong with the car. But no, I completely agree. I was just going to say that it wouldn't surprise me if we have. I would even say multiple retirees because of the weather, the heat. Yeah. And I, I think you, to exacerbate this, you know, this will be during the day. This is going to be like the middle afternoon. Yeah, it's going to be brutal. 